watching Cox Connections, only on Cox 11. The Salvation Army has been meeting the needs of the Hampton Roads area since 1905. This organization strives each day to reach those in need, the hungry, the homeless, and those at risk. Here to tell us more is Captain John J.V. Blevins. Welcome yeah. to the show. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Everyone sees the bell ringers and red kettles at Christmas. But the Salvation Army does so much more than that. Tell us a little bit about the Salvation Army. Absolutely. We're at work 365 days a year right here in Hampton Roads. We are well known for the bell rings in our thrift stores. But every single day we're working tirelessly for men, women, and children in need right here in Hampton Roads through a great mill of many programs. And your, your service area, when you say Hampton Roads, we're talking about from the Eastern Shore through? All of Southside, um, up through the peninsula to Williamsburg. So uh, the Eastern Shore, the whole area. Absolutely covering the whole region. That's right. I know that you have many wonderful programs. Tell us a little bit more about some of them. Our, uh, our Hope Village is a fantastic program for single women and women with children who are homeless and we're able to bring them in to our uh, it's actual village. It's a set of six houses that are together and they go through programs uh, such as counseling. They are attached to resources for education. The goal is to get them employed and be able to um, provide them an opportunity to self-sufficiency. It's a very successful program with 84% of the families going through that program becoming self sufficient through employment and so last year we were able to help 37 is fantastic 37 families uh, with 20 children were able to go through that program get off the streets and now they have jobs and they're in their stable so that's a great program our social services uh, there's such a massive need here in Hampton Roads last year alone we had over 6,000 people come to our food pantry for food uh, we helped over 1200 families with utility assistance through our energy share program and the goal is to be able to keep their power on especially during the summer when it's hot we want their ac running in, in the uh, winter when it's cold we want the heat on so we're able to help over 1200 families with that and also to help 120 families with rent assistance so they were able to stay in their homes without uh, being evicted and then also our Christmas program, the bell ringers that we're so well known for are raising funds so that we can provide families, almost 20,000 people alone at Christmas, men, women, and children with assistance, over 4,000 families, uh, trying to provide them a Merry Christmas because every child deserves a Merry Christmas. Absolutely, every child deserves a Merry Christmas. Absolutely, with toys and, and brand new clothing, and we're able to do that with partnerships with Channel 13, the Marine Corps, the Virginia Pilot Joy Fund, um, Operation Blessing, all helps us provide food, toys, and clothing at Christmas for almost 10,000 children. That's wonderful. Tell me a little bit more about the services that you provide for homeless individuals. We have a fantastic men's shelter. But it's not just a men's shelter. It's on 19th Street in Norfolk. It's also a shelter for veterans because we were seeing a trend in which veteran homeless is a very uh, concerning situation. And so we have a 30 bed facility set aside specifically for men and veterans. And we provide uh, day services. The men have access to voicemail. So when they go and they apply for jobs, they have their own so voicemail. Get a hold so of they them. can call them back and get in touch with them. We provide- It's a small thing probably that people don't really think about. But if you're homeless, you don't right. have a, a telephone at home to, to be able to get those voicemails. And the Salvation Army is all about preserving the dignity of the families and individuals that come to us for our services. And a lot of people uh, might be embarrassed to apply for work and to have the callback number be at a shelter. At a shelter. So sure. they have their own voicemail in which they can uh, receive those professional laundry services, counseling for employment, uh, drug addiction if they have substance abuse problems, which leads us to another um, program that we have at the Adult Rehabilitation Center that's in Virginia Beach, and that's our facility for um, helping men who have drug and alcohol addictions, and we're able to help them go through a rehabilitation process, and it's very comprehensive and very successful. So helping people to achieve sustainability. Absolutely. That's our goal. Um, I know that you reach our community through the Croc Center as well, which is wonderful, a wonderful, fabulous amenity for the Hampton Roads community. Tell me a little bit more about what's in the Croc Center and what you hope it will do for the community. Absolutely. The Croc Center is our beautiful, fantastic 92,000 square foot facility. Just entered its second full year of operation. And what we have is we have a fantastic indoor water park. My children love it. 
Um, we have a very large and comprehensive fitness center. I believe it's about 11,000 square feet. It's very large. We have an indoor walking track. We have classrooms for um, fitness classes and ballet, Zumba, all of those types of activities. And we also have meeting space for, um, for people to utilize and uh, to rent out. And we also have a fabulous performing arts center and chapel. So you were telling me earlier about some of the classes, like ballet class, violin class, um, and their ability to reach children mm -hmm. who might not otherwise have opportunities like that. Absolutely, and that's, that's the purpose of the Croc Center, to be the heart of the community, to bring people together who might not ever get a chance to meet and interact with each other for their own benefit and for their own growth. And we have fantastic programs that serve youth there. We have our Croc Camp. We have the Heartstrings Program, which uh, takes... Um, first graders, second graders, and connects them with members of the Virginia Symphony and teaches them how to play violins. What a wonderful experience. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, an experience that an individual might not, a little kid might not have any other way. And that's what we're about. We're about building um, community uh, and, uh, and just bringing people together and being the heart of the community. So tell me a little bit about um, funding for the Salvation Army. And is there a way that our viewers could help you with that? Absolutely. You know, we, uh, we rely on the public for most of our, our funds. And so we do hold fundraisers throughout the year. We have a turkey, uh, we call it the Turkey Shoot Golf Tournament in October, which we raise money for our Thanksgiving feeding programs where we feed over 2,400 people, 2,400 meals, and we do that by delivering them on oh, Thanksgiving wow. Day. We have our Hope Gala, which we just had recently with retired coach Frank Beamer as our keynote speaker from Virginia Tech. That raised um, over $100,000 dollars to go into our scholarship fund at the Croc Center where we take individuals and families who might not be able to afford um, the membership race and provide scholarships, over 500 last year. So we have that. We have our annual Red Kettle effort, um, which is the bell ringers that everybody knows us for, and that provides funds for the entire year, as well as Christmas for those 20,000 individuals that we help at Christmas. And we also have a Kettle Crush um, 5K run and that's where people can uh, sign up and do the 5K or a 1K fun run for, you know, with little kids. All of those fundraisers help us raise money throughout the year to serve over 42,000 people. Well, Captain Blevins, thank you so much for being here to talk with us about the Salvation Army today. And thank you so much for the work that you do serving those in need in our community. Thank you. It was my pleasure. When we return, it's a crime that is not seen and can affect those closest to us, especially the young, human trafficking. Learn the warning signs and how you can help when we come back with more Cox Connections.